Perusahaan multinasional perbankan dan investasi Goldman Sachs mulai Januari melakukan PHK sekitar 3.200 karyawannya, menurut laporan sejumlah media. The news that we expect to see layoffs at Goldman Sachs should not be a surprise to most investors due to the fact that the investment banking business in 2022 was very, very challenged, not only for Goldman Sachs, but for the industry. And this comes off the heels of record-breaking results in 2020 and 2021, not only for Goldman Sachs, but again for the industry. However, Goldman in the industry has not yet adjusted their expense base to this new lower level of business. Banyak perusahaan termasuk perbankan melakukan ekspansi pada awal pandemi, tapi pembukaan kembali ekonomi dan iklim usaha terkini dengan peningkatan suku bunga acuan oleh Bank Sentral AS atau Federal Reserve akhirnya memaksa banyak di antaranya melakukan restrukturisasi. Well, in particular again the, the investment banking side is uh, is weak because of uh, you know a combination of reasons really. I mean the higher interest rate environment uh, you know has pushed uh, equity valuations down. Uh, you know some global turmoil. Obviously, inflation is you know is still in the the picture as well. Russia, China, um, you know we- weakness throughout. Uh, you know the the surveys of of business activity uh, also uh, you know coming in. Uh, people are uh, you know companies are are hunkering uh, down for. Uh, you know, for what is likely to be a, a downturn. Untuk Goldman Sachs, PHK 3 ribuan karyawan dari sekitar 49 ribu total karyawan cukup signifikan. It's you know quite a bit more than than you would see in a standard year. Uh, but at the same time, of course, banks had uh, really not done much uh, in terms of uh, calling the workforce uh, over the last you know few years, really since the pandemic. Um, and in the case of Goldman, they've uh, you know rapidly ramped up staff. Uh, throughout that period, so uh, so the size in this case uh, doesn't surprise me uh, relative to the workforce. And then, of course, um, when you look at uh, Goldman relative to some of the other banks, uh, J.P. Morgan or uh, Morgan Stanley, Citigroup, Bank of America, they have uh, much more traditional uh, bread and butter uh, banking operations that are you know not likely to be affected, that aren't uh, capital markets sensitive. Tapi angka 3.000 lebih ini adalah yang tertinggi sejak krisis finansial tahun 2008, menurut sumber kantor berita Reuters. Sebelum sektor perbankan, sektor yang sebelumnya telah mengalami PHK massal adalah sektor teknologi. Dan akar permasalahannya serupa menurut analis yaitu overekspansi saat awal pandemi, lalu disusul dengan penurunan pemasukan pada 2022 yang akhirnya mengharuskan perampingan. Dari Washington DC, saya Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.